what's up? Thank you so much for being here. Now, as you know, ASU has extended the ongoing strike to another eight weeks. Now, today I'll be answering 10 of the most asked questions by students about ASU and the ongoing strike. My name is Aluchi Alex, let's get answering. Now, before I start addressing the questions, I'd like to give you a brief fact about ASU. Now, the Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU, was founded in 1978 and Professor Victor Emmanuel Osodeke is the current president of ASU as of May 30th, 2021. Now, it would interest you to know that ASU was actually active in the struggles against the military regime during the 1980s. Since 1999, ASU has embarked on nationwide strike almost every year, disrupting the academic pursuit of most Nigerian students, with an estimated 75% graduating later than scheduled. Now on to the questions. Question number one. Why is ASU always going on strike? Well, the reason ASU keeps going on strike is because the government has failed to keep its part of the agreement it made concerning funding the university revitalization, university autonomy, and conditions of service. But do you know that university lecturers have not had their salaries increased in the last 13 years? Question number two. Why can't the government pay ASU? Well, I think the reason the government has not been able to pay ASU is because they keep claiming they don't have money. But if the government truly has no money, then how are they still able to sponsor their expensive trips and celebration? And why is the cost of governance still high? Hmm. Do you know that there is a stamp duty for every withdrawal you make at the bank? And the government makes a lot of money from this. And this is just one of the several money-making ventures of the government, and they still claim they have no money? I think I'll let you be the judge of that. Question number three, what is IPPIS and why does ASU hate it? Well, IPPIS is an acronym for the Integrated Payroll and Personnel Information System created in 2007 by the federal government to automate the payroll and human resource database for the federal civil service. Now, before the IPPIS, salaries were paid into the accounts of different ministries, departments and agencies for disbursements. Now, as to why ASU hates it, well, ASU believes that IPPIS is an infringement on universities' rights to autonomy. They also believe that it is not backed up by the law. Also, the IPPIS software is not robust enough to cater to the peculiarities of lecturers, and it does not include some remunerations. But do you know that IPPIS has exposed over 80,000 ghost workers? Question number four. What is UTAS? Well, after ASU rejected the IPPIS, they developed their own system. It's called the University Transparency and Accountability Solution, UTAS. Now, in comparison to the IPPIS, UTAS is set to include all the personnel information as well as payroll system, but it will be domiciled in each institution. Now, for transparency, proper monitoring of fund disbursements will be overseen by the federal government. Well, I think this is kind of fair. Now question number five, does ASU get paid while they are on strike? Well the answer to that is no as the government has refused to pay anyone that won't work. Hmm. Question number six, are all schools under ASU? Well all federal and state universities are under the umbrella of ASU except private universities. Question number seven, is strike the only solution? Well to be very honest the only language the government understands right now is a strike action. Question number eight, why can the student be present in the meeting between ASU and the government? Well, this is a very intelligent question. Although random students can be present, student bodies should be allowed to represent the students. I mean, we know that ASU has been claiming to be representing the student, but I guess it wouldn't hurt to have actual student bodies as representatives of the students. Or what do you think? Question number nine, what can be done about students being rushed by the lecturers to meet up with the academic calendar when the strike eventually gets called off? Hmm. Well, to answer this, some people have suggested that schools should either start the particular semester again with regards to lectures or expand the academic calendar so that students can properly assimilate what they're being taught. I mean, just looking at these suggestions, I think they're quite reasonable. We want to definitely avoid situations where fresh graduates cannot remember what they were taught in their final year. Question number 10. What can students do to maximize the strike? Well, I think to properly maximize the strike, um, I'd recommend that every student learn a skill. And speaking of skills, have you heard of Skill Convergence 1.0? 
Now it's a digital training platform for all kinds of digital skills. Hey there! Are you looking for ways to earn more money? Do you want to stand out digitally in the 21st century? If your answer is yes, then take along because this is for you. Introducing Skill Convergence 1.0, an opportunity of a lifetime to learn digital skills ranging from concept development, videography, photography, video editing, audio editing, app development, web designing, plugin, graphics designing, live streaming, amongst others. Additionally, premium apps for smartphones like Vivo Video, Kindmaster, in shit amongst others will be given out for free to participants. TS6 to 2020 version of Premium Pro, After Effects, Photoshop, and other power laptop tech apps will also be given out for free to participants. Best five students will work for my school and end from 20k to 30k monthly. Training will be held offline for those within the University of Nigeria and Suka and online for those who are in other regions of Nigeria. Skill convergence is for both laptop and smartphone users. For more inquiries and registration, Please call the number displayed on your screen. Skill convergence is a moving train. Do hop in. Now, for more information on that, visit www.myschoolnews.com.ng. Well, guys, that's all for today. Feel free to give your opinion on the answers. Um, you can also ask questions if you have any. And don't forget to follow us at My School News TV for more ASU updates. Until next time, my name is Aluchi Alex. Bye for now.